handicap over the 2,000 metres. And, well, David Hayes, doesn't he just have the ability to move some of these horses into state so, so well? He's got the beautiful property down at Euroa, straight up to Ramwick or Rose Hill. And, well, that's the plan with Credence, who's going really well this preparation down in Melbourne, Mike. Yeah, flying. Going to have a close look at him. Benchmark 70 out of Stereos and Soyou in fourth up for Waller. Waller can take his time with his middle distance gallopers so they can still progress. Fair 2,000 metres. Good dry conditions, good three dry conditions on Saturday. Absolutely, and let's see how those dry conditions are going to affect the market. But it is Credence, that horse, for David Hayes, that is on top and well supported as well. $4.60, thank you, into the $3.10. I know you said you've already got a bit of that, Mike. Going really well for Hayes, though. $3.60, Asterius there. A few big orange flags you'll see in the race guide, form guide for the race. Missy Bill there, $6.00. Zippity Duda, the ex-Singapore horse, has a bit of form over the 18 and 2,000 metres as well, Mike. And so you win. Ran OK on the back up from last week. But Credence, this horse up from Melbourne, Mike, going great guns. How about the money between 12 and 3 o'clock yeah, on Wednesday afternoon, afternoon for this horse, Credence? It absolutely flew in. I got a little bit How of it. find it? I wish I got more. We'll have a look at the replay and you can tell me what you think, Stu. This is why I liked it. Last start in Melbourne, 2,000 metres. Look, I did get a box seat run. It peels off with a decent long sprint home. It kicks to the lead. It's definitely the best of the on paces, and it just gets caught late by an informal horse tube. Well, this is another one that just can go forward. I mean, it's hit the lead early this day, but it's just going to box seat again. And like I've said it a couple of times, it's just another one that could do this at Rose Hill. Yeah, Rose Hill on pace, box seat behind Missy Bill, who might roll along, which would really suit this horse. It's got 2,400 metre stamina, so it just needs to be near them on the turn, and it'll definitely stay on late. OK, let's have a look at another replay now. We've got a few to look at here. We've got Zippity Duda, Asterius, Collateral, and Temperado in the race. Mike, really keen to get your thoughts here on Zippity Duda because, as I said, 1,800, 2,000 metres overseas, some pretty good form, some great form around Asterius, as we know. And, well, Collateral, mm, back to a dry track this Yeah, week. it was better last week, though, wasn't it? This was an interesting race because it was such a slow tempo, but there are still some decent form lines. Zippity Duda, like you said, Stu, weaving through with the black cap and the orange. Turnbury's on the inside. He wins next start live and freeze in the lime green yeah plenty he wins start as well right. asterius way back off that slow tempo didn't suit him he found the line okay temperado look out the back doing nothing but he's probably the biggest grinder in sydney the <laughs> tempo was so slow that day if they roll along on saturday he's one of those horses that could sneak up at huge odds all right good replay to have a look out there with plenty of form coming out of the race it is the last race we're looking at in detail here, Mike, so the punters want to go home and win our form and key factors. Let's light up the gold for race eight. Mate, just getting warmed up. Let's do the rest of the card. <laughs> Credence, gold bar flying, due for a win. All right, so it's Credence there with So You Think with the form. Key factors time, progression. Yeah, looking for horses that can improve. Asterius, fourth up for Wallace. So You Think, fourth up for like we said. We think he's still got more up his sleeve. They can definitely improve this preparation still. OK, so a couple making a run here early on, Mike. Distance at stage of preparation. Yeah, collateral with more tempo. Up, up on a pace over 2,000 metres, he should like that. OK, dry track conditions, Rose Hill, we've said it all day. Yeah, bit of a problem, no obvious dry right. Rose Hill okay. types, which is a bit of a concern. Asterius probably wants a bit of a cutout. Dippity Duda maybe is the one that will like it. Yep. He's got Singapore yeah, form, true. but no obvious gold bars there. OK, no gold there. What about position in run, who gets it? Yeah, Credence, just following Missy Bill. If Missy Bill decides to roll along, Credence will get a beautiful run in behind and Credence gets a gold bar for position in run. Well, aren't they just in beautiful order there? Mike, we've got to the end of race eight here. Still plenty of questions there. It's, uh, it's not too much between a few of those, so let's bring up all the ratings and the odds because it's race eight. Punters want to go home a winner. Mike Zippity Dudo, we said a few things. I quite like the barrier one here, but Creed, Credence, box seat, another one to go forward. The money's come. You're on. How are you going to play this? You're yeah, already the, on. Yeah, the money's come, but is the value still there? That's the question. Let's have a look at the ratings and the odds and see which ones we like. Uh, looking at those ones, Credence is on top, and Zippity Dudo not too far away. Yeah. Decent odds. So it's got to be Credence, our best bet for us inside. If Missy Bill decides to roll along, he can kick up behind and just keep lifting. Yep. And Zippity Dudo, Rose Hill, dry track. He'll be in the mix each way for sure. All right.